What's up guys, welcome to another Milmer's Xcode tutorial. Here, this tutorial is a follow on from the Activity View Indicator tutorial which can be found here if you haven't already seen that. Um, and in that tutorial I discussed how to use the Activity Indicator and I also said I was going to make a tutorial on making one for a web view. Um, so if you haven't seen my web view tutorials the link shall be here because I will be using that tutorial as a base for this project. Um, so if you have already seen them or you know what I'm doing, then I'm going to open up my web view project. And uh, just like in the activity uh, indicator tutorial, we need an activity indicator, a timer, and um, we also need a void for our um, hiding thing. So we'll go down here and we'll add an activity indicator. So UI activity... There you go, indicator view, star activity. Uh, we'll also add an NS timer, and oops, and we can call that timer. Uh, we also need the void, so if we go outside the brackets and down here, dash open parentheses void, close parentheses, and then we can just call this web view loading, like that. And copy your void across into the dot m, and just paste it below the view did load here, and uh, expand that out. Um, so now what we need to do is add the timer into the view did load method to check if um, the web view is loading or not. So we'll go in here and we'll go timer, just like in the other tutorial I did. Space equals space. Open square bracket. Ns timer. Um, scheduled. And we don't want that one, we'll press escape. And we want that one where it says target selector user info and repeats. So we'll have that one. In the time interval, we're going to have, uh, well, we don't want it, them to be waiting for ages for this thing to go away. Uh, so we're going to have 0 0.5 um, seconds. And target can be self. Uh, selector can be our method. So at selector, and that's going to be our web web view loading oops <laughs> uh, web view loading close parentheses and then user info can be nil and repeats can be yes this time because if it doesn't repeat then the the uh, indicator will keep spinning and spinning and spinning so we'll close that and then we'll also set up our indicator view so it has a nice background to it so we'll go activity dot background color space equals space open square brackets ui color um and that can be light gray color this time because the dark one seems to be a bit too dark so we'll have light gray color save that and now we need to set up our web view loading um so in here we're going to have an if statement to check if it isn't loading so if if the web view isn't loading anymore then we can um we can stop the activity indicator otherwise keep it going so we'll have if, and uh, there is a statement or a condition for um, uh, our web view, which is called web, our web view name dot loading, and that basically says if it is loading, then do this. But we don't want it to load. So if it isn't loading, however, there isn't a method for that, so we can invert or change the outcome of this by putting an exclamation mark in front of it. And that basically changes the web view loading into web view not loading or makes it the opposite. Um, I hope that wasn't too confusing then. Hope you understand what I just did there. Um, and then in here, we're going to stop the activity window from animating. So activity, stop animating, close square brackets, semicolon. And then we can just have an else statement on the end of this if statement. And that will just be otherwise keep it animating so start animating um, so save that and then that's it for the coding so far so now we can go across into our dot m <laughs> dot m dot nib sorry um, and all we need is an activity window so we'll just find that and here it is and I'm going to put it directly center in the screen um, we can go files owner and connect it up and uh, save that and then go back into the code a second and go back to the view did load 
And then underneath where we set the color, we can also go activity dot hides when stopped space equals space. Yes. Uh, this, this line of code here is just so it will hide itself uh, when it stops animating. So it won't just stay there. Um, so that's it. Uh, now we can build and run and see if our indicator works. So here it is. And as you can see there it loads. And as soon as Bing loaded, it stopped. I can click refresh, it will start again. I can go to Google and it will load and then when Google loads it stops. I can search in Google and it will still load. I can go to YouTube and it will load and then when I load, yeah, there you go. And go back and it will go back and forward and stuff like that. Um, so there you go guys, that's how you use an activity indicator window. I keep saying window, don't know why. <laughs> That's how you use an activity indicator to show if the web view is loading or not. Um, so I hope that helped guys, hope that's useful. And don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe and see you in my other tutorials.